Health officials on high alert tonight, a day after confirming the first case of coronavirus in the United States. The respiratory illness, which mimics the flu and could be deadly, is believed to have originated in the Chinese city of Wuhan. Officials there announced a full-scale quarantine amid the outbreak. To date, 17 people have died from the coronavirus and 540 cases have been confirmed in five countries. China, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, and now here in the United States. That patient, described as a man in his 30s from Washington State. He was hospitalized and we're very happy to say that he is in satisfactory condition. Airports across the country, including JFK, now screening travelers coming from China. Despite those growing concerns, health officials here in New York say it's too early to start panicking. We've had experience with these kinds of viruses before with SARS and MERS. According to Dr. Mark Mulligan, director of NYU Langone Vaccine Center, although possible, the chances of exposure are small. A lot more people are getting sick from the flu right now than from coronavirus in the U.S. But if there's contact with someone from Asia who has a respiratory syndrome, fever, cough, etc., you know, that might be a reason for concern. For those who do come down with a fever, cough, or have difficulty breathing and recently traveled to China, the New York City Department of Health urges you to avoid contact with others and seek medical attention as soon as possible. Even if we didn't have this new coronavirus to worry about, we should be washing hands frequently. We shouldn't go to work, especially if there's been fever. We should wait 24 hours. I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.